All right, well, you've been sewing for your whole life. How did you learn to sew, and how did you get so good at it? Well, <laughs> to tell you the truth, <laughs> I, after my husband passed away, I was in need, very much so. So I learned a little bit in Belgium. And uh, finally, I had a job for the dry cleaners. So I was operation lady for the dry cleaners. Oh. And a little bit at the time, I was doing more and more. So I learned a lot by myself. So this was like in what, 1970? 1978. And yes. then that's when your husband died. Yes. And then you needed to have some income. And that's what my thing of income. And then you landed a job at the... At the dry cleaners, and then I had another dry cleaners that were doing operation for two dry cleaners. Okay, so this was in 1978 in New Baltimore, Michigan. Mm -hmm, that's correct. And the name of the dry cleaners was? Rub-a-dub. Rub-a-dub dry cleaners. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us a little bit about uh, what kind of work you did for Rub-a-dub? Oh, I did all kinds of things for Rub-a-dub. Shorten curtains, um, shorten jackets, uh, men's jackets, the sleeves, the pants. And if they made a mishap, I uh, repaired the, the mishap if they had like a color and run into a weight like from the pants and it runs into weight. I made a whole new weight outfit that which was cheaper than taking him to the to the, the court or whatever. Oh, so basically you fixed the things that the dry cleaner screwed up. Yes. And that's where you learned how to improve your sewing skills. Yes. So I see you have a couple of things here on your table. Well, those are uh, bags. People give me material, and if it's, you know, a decent material, I make bags for people, handbags, grocery shopping, see. And, and you know, I always put lining in because it's a double support. And then what, what happens to these bags? What do you do? Well, I sell them. You sell them? Mm-hmm. Well, they look pretty nice. I sell them for uh, whatever, see? Even I had a piece left over, I, can, I couldn't throw it away, so I made a pocket on the other side. Well, I have a feeling that you're going to get famous because of those nice bags. Well, I don't have to be famous, I just, I'm just me. <laughs> All right. I'm just me, and I enjoy doing things like that. All right, thank you. <laughs> famous.